Hi, my name is Tim Johnson. I am the technical director here at Build Media. Unfortunately, due to New Zealand's COVID lockdown and social distancing requirements, we're unable to bring our full presentation. However, the Build Media team is still very keen to share the Wellington Digital Twin and how it was created. Build Media is a visualization and experiential studio creating meaningful digital experiences. The team is a mix of specialists ranging from gaming, programming, animation, visualization, GIS, and architecture. We love pushing the boundaries in everything we do using Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine has allowed us to explore new industries and capabilities we never would have imagined only a few years ago, and the Wellington Digital Twin is one such project. Build Media has visualized many large-scale infrastructural projects across New Zealand and Australia, and spent years creating accurate 3D visualizations, placing these in context to help stakeholders and the public understand the scope and impact of a project. With the Wellington Digital Twin, we wanted to create a dynamic, real-time model that presents information in a non-linear and engaging way, bringing together our visualization capabilities with sensor, geospatial, building, infrastructure, and online data from across government and non-government organizations. The aim is to help make better multi-agency decisions, understand complex issues like climate change and economic development, and most importantly, as with all our visualization work, better engage with the communities and stakeholders. We've been developing the Wellington model over the last few years, using it to create a number of animations, visual simulations, which are accurate photo montages, and marketing imagery. With everything we have learned with UE4, we decided to take the leap and bring the entire model across into Engine and push what could be possible. Hi, I'm Vincent, one of the lead CG artists at Bill Media. I'll be walking you through how it was created and how you can get started on your own digital twin. When building any kind of digital twin, ask yourself, what are we trying to achieve? This helps you define the scope of the project and where to direct your efforts. For Wellington City, accuracy and the visual appeal was our main focus. Wellington was created using a number of data sets from multiple agencies. The availability of good spatial data is one of the key factors for a successful twin of a city. Work with your local geodetic system so that surveyors, engineers, and architects can all be coordinated to the same reference point. We started with a small area and continued to expand the model outward to keep on top of optimization. We were surprised every day as we continued development just how much you can throw at an Unreal Engine. Starting with the terrain, we used publicly available contour data from Land Information New Zealand. We generated height maps and exported terrain tiles as static meshes from 3ds Max. In the material, a well-positioned offset function creates the Earth's curvature. Projects were modeled and animated in 3ds Max and imported through individual DataSmith files, with materials automatically assigned in Unreal Engine through data prep. For the buildings, a detailed photogrammetry model of the CBD was supplied by Wellington City Council, 18,000 buildings with unique 3D models and textures. Unreal Engine has inbuilt optimization tools that were key to manage draw calls and getting a stable frame rate. Using blueprints and shapefiles, we accurately placed trees, streetlights, cars, boats, and even wind turbines. And finally, my favorite part of the project, we let Unreal Engine's amazing volumetry cloud and atmospheric system bring the scene to life. The Wellington Twin is connected to IoT sensors located across the city, bringing the Unreal model to life. We capture and record traffic volume, cyclist movements in and out of the city, pollution levels, pedestrians, temperature, weather, and more. We access this data using REST API, a mixture of JSON, XML, and HTTP requests, depending on the data source. This is very straightforward using easy to find UE4 plugins on the marketplace. It is still early days connecting to the Wellington Digital Twin infrastructure, and we're excited to explore this further. The Wellington Twin is also used to visualize a number of projects around the city. These projects have been included in the model for public consultations and stakeholder meetings. From our experience, the consultation phase is critical for any major project. Having all the information in one place makes it more efficient and effective to engage with the industry and public stakeholders. It can also provide a history of proposals and feedback. Every model, every decision can remain within the interface. This then demonstrates to the public that they are valued and engaged throughout the whole consultation process. Kia ora, my name's Sean Ordain and I'm a City Innovation Lead at Wellington City Council working on our Digital Twin project. Here in Wellington we've been investing in a digital twin 
because it helps us understand and communicate the future of our cities and the complexity of what makes it work. What we love about Unreal Engine is its ability to take disparate data feeds and put them into a universal experience which we can use to help make that future real for people. Our aim is to be an informed democracy and so that ability to universally fuse together that future of the city is everything to us. Pixel streaming will enable us to share the digital twin throughout the council and potentially in the future to the public. Streaming the digital twin from the cloud means more people are able to access and utilise the twin for presentations on any device. Messaging is then consistent across all departments. We want the Wellington Digital Twin to enhance public, agency and stakeholder collaboration, encourage open data and stimulate the co-designing of Wellington for the benefit of future generations. Build Media is looking forward to the continued development of the Wellington Digital Twin in Unreal Engine and hope this will be a great asset to the city. Thank you.